Hey there, folks. Um, Depression Gabe is actually getting out of the house to go grab some medication for himself. So he will hopefully not be as depressed. But while I'm on my way to Walmart to pick up my pills, I wanted to talk about J.K. Rowling. Not just specifically J.K. Rowling, but all of the people who are accusing her of being a... <clears throat> How can I say this without getting taken off of YouTube? I need steering wheel fluid. A hall of cost to denier. You fill in the words with that one. Funny mustache man. Funny mustache man. Funny mustache man. German. Jew. Put the pieces together. You know what I'm talking about. But they are legitimately accusing her of being a denier. And it's funny. It's for the dumbest reason possible. She is denying that trans people were the first ones attacked during WW2, WW1. I honestly forget which WW was. I think it was WW2. My history sucks. I'll be the first one to tell you my history sucks. But during the funny mustache man's reign. And they're, they're saying that she is a hall of cost denier for denying this little known fact that was literally just drummed up four days ago that funny mustache man was going after trans people first. Yeah. <coughs> We've reached that level of, of Delulu. That is the level of Delulu we have reached. Bravo, society. Bravo. And I even saw a interaction, and, and I don't even have to put in the conversations, because it's Twitter. You guys can just automatically believe anything I say, and I can say anything happened on Twitter, and you'll be like, yeah, that sounds like something that would have happened on Twitter. But um, I even saw a conversation where people were like, well, she's pretty much denying it. She's denying parts of it. I'm like, what parts is she denying, dude? What, what parts? We literally just learned about this mystical, magical erasure of trans people during WW2 yesterday. Nah. What? Oh, golly gee willikers, man. I, I, I do not get these people. Your politics don't matter in this case. You, your politics don't matter. Where you lie with the transgender issue doesn't matter. Your your whole situation in regards to this don't matter. What matters is the facts. And you cannot just make up your own facts. Yeah. <laughs> These nimrods want to make up their own history. And yet these are also the same nimrods who will go and call anybody who disagrees with them Yahtzees. Yahtzees. Let's go with Yahtzee. Yahtzee, for lack of a better word. Good Lord, that motion can be taken in an inappropriate way if you really think too much into it. <sighs> I, I just... They've become lunatics. They become lunatics because she is not a denier of the funny ma mustache man's attack. She's not a denier of that. She posted or reposted a tweet that somebody made in regards to this situation. Uh, a guy who I believe is Jewish and is not too happy with this. And he has stated that, you know, this is an insult. All, all of this is a full-blown bloody insult because his family went through this whole, whole rigmarole, this whole horrible situation. And they said, I'm supposed to just believe and buy the fact that 
my family is just magically surrounded by a bunch of trans people. Where is the proof? Where is the proof? I'm not coming at this from a political angle. I'm legitimately wondering where is the proof? And they're posting pictures that came from that time period and making up a backstory for said pictures. You can say anything you want to. I could put a picture up of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton dancing a hoedown and say that during his presidency, Barack Obama would take Hillary Clinton to square dances and hoedowns every Wednesday of the third week of, of every month. I can make that story up and, and say that type of backstory. I could say that Obama had a secret love affair with Joe Biden and showcase a picture of Biden and Obama in the same room. So just because you show pictures does not mean that it's accurate historically. It just does not mean that. But you have people... You have people thinking it does. You have people thinking that it's acceptable to make up history. And meanwhile, there are people that are still alive that have gone through this whole hall of cost situation. And it's very distressing to them because you are fully disrespecting them. And you do not give a care. You don't give a crap. And that's a problem. That's a big old massive problem. But you know these progressives don't give a care. You know these progressives don't care about the truth or care about factual information or anything like that. They want to accuse everyone else of being void of facts and void of logic when that's the least truthful thing ever. It just is. So the next time somebody comes up to you and says, hey, you're denying something. You're not being factual. You're not being truthful. Just look up. J.K. Rowling is a Yahtzee on Twitter. And you'll see a whole slew of people who deny facts and deny logic. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully you all have a wonderful day. This is Gabe of Radio Blobfish signing off saying take care and God bless. Peace out, everybody. I made it in perfect time.